Uh, hello everybody. Um, it is now almost 5 a.m. and I'm making my last tutorial for the night, and then we're gonna go to bed. Um, so now I'm gonna be teaching about chars, and I taught you about arrays before chars for a reason, but I won't get into um arrays and chars in this tutorial. This tutorial is intended to be short. So a char is a variable type and you clear like any other variable but the thing about a char is that it only can contain it's a letter but it only can contain one letter unless you put arrays in it which I'm not teaching this tutorial so um, it, this loop could be equal to n or could be equal to any letter but only one letter and notice it's a single quotation marks not double double quotation marks is for strings which you'll learn about later on because strings are like it's a huge library which I want to get in depth into so um charge is single all right so for now we're just gonna make a little program to implement arrays and just to show you how charge work so I named it loop because I'm gonna ask if they want to loop the program like if they want to exit and if they want to exit then they'll click no they don't want to run it again and if they want to run it again they'll put Y so instead of putting one to play again and two to play again they'll actually input letters so if you understand what I mean you'll see what I mean so from our race tutorial we're gonna make a variable named marks I'm gonna put four in there. We're gonna put four marks and average to zero. And it's always good to do these because they work your brain. And if you work your brain, you'll be a better programmer. And I'll make another one called bool done equals false. Now while not done, so while it's false, we're gonna do some stuff. So to get the input from the uh from the array we're gonna be using a for loop uh less than four and I'm not sure if I show this in my um arrays tutorials so basically I'm gonna use the input from the for loops even if I said this before it's good to review so what I'm gonna do is like this I'm gonna put input Um, number, number sign, and then I plus one. Then I want to put okay. So you see what I did there? So when it goes, it's going to put input number and it's going to put i plus one so when when the loop begins it's gonna be zero so it's gonna be like input number one then it's getting the marks i now remember arrays um if it's four it goes from zero one two then three right so since i is zero it's getting um the value for mark zero then when it loops again i will be one so it'll begin the value for marks one and so on and so forth. So then when it gets the values, we're gonna be adding the values of marks to the average. So that'll be it for for loop. And if you don't understand what all this is doing, then I suggest you go back to the earlier tutorials. And so once you've done that, then we're gonna put average divide equals marks. I don't really have too much time to explain all this again because this is meant for char so divide equals 4 sorry so as you know um, averages calculated by adding all the numbers and dividing by how much numbers there are so there was 4 numbers inputted so it's average divide equals 4 which is the same as saying average is equal to average divided by 4 now we're going to print this to the screen average
and and oh uh, then we're gonna ask the user do you wish to run the application again now oh we should put and oh uh and i should say y for yes y or no y n so this is what we're gonna um check for the user input so i'm gonna put send loop or um cn and now i'm gonna put if loop is equal to remember a single quotation mark so if it's equal to n uh then i'm gonna exit so I'm gonna put done equals true and that's it and I should do some error checking instead of um, if they put numbers or something but I'm really tired and if you should know from the earlier tutorials how to do error checking with if statements right so basically my program is running so I'm just gonna input all fours oh my bad for so average 14 do you wish to run it again put y for yes it's running again. Uh, do you wish to run the application again? And no. Press any key to continue. And that's how it is. So uh, then for error checking, you just put else if loop equals y, then done equals false, else input a valid letter and normally you'd have like a a while loop over here just running and then once they input a valid letter then the while loop would exit but you should know that from the early tutorials um if you really don't know what I'm talking about then you should watch them so that's basically how to use chars um they contain one letter and I'll teach you about charging arrays. So thanks for watching and bye.